What's going on my fellow troops? My name is Zavo and welcome back to a brand new video. So today is going to be a bit more widespread than gaming, never mind Call of Duty. Today I'm going to be talking about just the past week basically. It's been one fucking hell of a ride, I must say. It has been filled with just dead spaces of waiting and just stress, honestly. Uh, because if you did see the abundances of just community posts and whatever I mentioned in my second year anniversary video, then you probably are already aware of vaguely what's been going on. And uh, there's a lot more to this than just what happened with my computer because that's something I have touched upon a little bit. So basically, as you've read the title and probably seen the thumbnail, I was hacked. So, you're probably first thinking, well, he was hacked on YouTube, his channel was probably taken down, or his channel... No, it was nothing to do with my channel, um, it was to do with my computer, and some other things as well, more personal to me. So, first things first, let's just rewind back to when this happened. So, I'm pretty sure this happened on the 6th of April. So, right now, as I'm recording this at like 3 in the morning... It's actually the 15th, so it has been nearly 10 days, maybe, since this happened. So, had I had not put out, you know, the two-year anniversary video, the quick and improvised video, this would have been legitimately like a 10-day gap since my previous upload, which would have been nearly two weeks. So, if we rewind back to then, it was probably midnight, I was on my computer, and I was thinking, right, okay, I want to download some sort of app that can recover files, deleted videos, uh, photos, you know, documents, you name it. I was looking for one of those, so I was trying to see if I could recover anything because there was a bunch of old things I've had on my computer in the past that I deleted long ago, and I was seeing if I could find anything. So I was trying out a bunch of different recovery apps. A lot of them didn't really do anything, and there was one I found called Ibisoft, I think it was called, and it did work. It showed me a bunch of previews of things I had previously deleted, and I was thinking, okay, this works. So I go to click recover, and it says, well, you have to purchase this app to actually recover. So it pretty much deems the whole product useless because you can check out what you had deleted, but you couldn't actually recover, which was kind of the main purpose of the app, which didn't make any sense to me. So I was like, okay, uh, I'm not going to pay some ridiculous number of money to some random product that I don't really know about just to get my old deleted shit back. So I was like, okay, well, this is the best bet I've got. I'll try and look up a cracked version. So if you don't know what a cracked app is, it's basically, it's basically a free method of that app. So somebody has basically gone into that app directly, deleted a bunch of system features that allow you to bypass any sort of purchasing for the actual app or any sort of logging or sign up um, or anything like that that would basically qualify you as a purchased user or whatnot. So I looked for a cracked version. This probably sounds like the most dumbest shit in the fucking world because you're probably thinking, why on earth would you do that? Like, there's no way that's going to go well in any way, shape or form, right? But I've done this probably for a lot of my apps. I think most of the apps I had on my computer for editing have been cracked or some sort of free install, but it's something people typically do these days, and I guess it's just, you know, what better price is there than free, right? <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, um, this can't really go wrong. I've done this with other apps before. I was like, okay, cool. So I went to this website, didn't really know what this site was. This is probably the first red flag. I should have known it wasn't really a safe site, but it had like a blue background. It was kind of some random uh, PC download sort of site that you can upload. Uh, different downloads too. So I went to this one and it claimed to have a cracked version of Ibisoft with a code and I downloaded it. Uh, it. There was literally no warning for my computer because let me just make this pretty obvious. My computer hasn't been protected for the past probably three years, two years at least. Uh, hasn't had any proper safety or precautions on the computer to check for any viruses or any uh, any other 
dangerous potential threats to the computer. I didn't have any antivirus installed because that shit demands a lot of money out of you once the free trial is over. So I never really did have a proper sort of precaution really to what I was about to install. And honestly, I think it made it pretty easy for whoever was about to get into my computer because they had probably a field trip with this shit because honestly, it was the most unprotected computer possible. So at this point, I installed it and I extracted it and it asked me to put in some sort of passcode. I think it was like 123 or 1234. That's typically how people set them up so that they're easy to access because you do have to have some sort of passcode to extract some sort of zip file or WinRAR file. Um, it's just kind of a system thing you have to go with. So they set it up as the most easiest passcode possible. Uh, so when I did put this passcode in and initially activated it to extract all the shit to my computer, uh, the setup appeared and instead of saying Ubisoft whatever install version something, it just said setup, which was immediately a red flag that I was completely unaware of. I thought it was a bit weird, but I wasn't really going to think at this point Point that I was about to get infected with ransomware and that's exactly what happened. I opened it, nothing happened. Continued to click it to open, nothing happened and I probably had 5-10 minutes where I was just sort of sat around waiting for something to happen and eventually I noticed my files had turned into .tuid files and if you don't know what a .tuid file is, it's a type of ransomware file which encrypts all of your files on your computer and basically makes them unaccessible unless you pay them in ransom which could be Bitcoin or absolutely anything at this fucking point. I didn't even get a message or any sort of notepad app and if they did put one on my computer, well they were so fucking brain dead that they didn't bother to put it somewhere I would see it so I didn't get any sort of message saying, hey, uh, read me type message and you open it and it tells you what to do after they've encrypted all your shit. I didn't even get that. So I assumed the person who did it just simply wanted to encrypt my shit so I'd never get it back just to be an asshole. Uh, so basically everything was encrypted and I thought, okay, I don't know what this is. So I searched it up and that's when I found out a TWID file was a ransomware. So at this point, I, my, I was on high alert. I was trying to control the situation. Uh, it spread to my OneDrive because literally OneDrive is connected to your PC these days. So that got loads of my files encrypted, which were mainly just photos for school, like photo shoot photos, which I don't care. I have that shit on my phone either way, so I don't care. But it, it encrypted all of that, and pretty much I didn't know what I was doing at that point. Now, one of the main things that happened was, I don't know if this was during this situation, I was watching loads of videos um, or something else. I watched a video and it said to go into your reg edit, which let's be honest, if you know anything about computers, do never touch the reg edit. I know that now reg edit kind of stores loads of data for your hardware and other important stuff. I wasn't aware of how serious that was and I was just trusting the video I was watching. They probably, this was probably just an uploader trying to screw people's computers over for the sake of it. So I went and followed the instructions of one of these videos and I changed like a value in one of my string values, I guess, for one of the, what was it, the H key common machine. I think it's a component of the regedit. I changed the value to a two or something like that, or I made a new value of a two. Uh, and I don't know if that caused it or if that did nothing, but honestly, after powering off my computer and whatnot, which is usually something you do after you get a virus, I couldn't get back in. I was stuck in a blue screen of death loop, which ultimately is difficult to break out of when you had what I had. There was no way I could fix it. I was troubleshooting uh, commands in the command prompt. I was you trying to do system restore. I was trying to like fix the computer by actually going into the command prompt and fo following videos that were telling you how to clean the system system with like a scan and whatnot and nothing worked I kept getting access denied uh, things were not letting me back in I'd restore the computer I'd try to it boot up and I'd get the same blue screen error and it was saying it was like a critical error like it was very serious so I at this point was spending that rest of that night and probably the next morning trying to get back in what I wasn't understanding is all the time I was spending with the computer switched on trying to troubleshoot, I was doing nothing and all the while I was buying them more time to screw over more of my computer. If you don't know, whilst your computer is actually switched on, it gives them direct access to do whatever they want in your computer whilst they're still in there and you're logged out, you're shut out of the computer. 
uh, so I was basically giving them more time, and at this point, I wasn't aware of how serious this was, I thought maybe it would just encrypt my files, that was it, but no, um, I'm pretty sure it was able to compromise my primary email for the computer and the password that came with the Google account for it, so it basically was able to take this information and sign into my Facebook, so this is where it goes beyond my computer, the next morning at I was just trying to troubleshoot. I came downstairs. I was telling my dad about how bad this was and whatnot. And then next thing, my mom was making a phone call to my dad, actually, saying that she'd been called by my half-brother, uh, saying that basically my Facebook has had some weird shit on it. Uh, the profile changed to something considered disturbing. So I don't really know how severe this actually was. But it was something punishable by Facebook's guidelines. And basically, at this point, I'd figured out, well, my, my fucking Facebook's hacked. Okay, this is serious. So whoever it is has got into my Facebook as well. They set something disturbing. I'm pretty sure it was something sexual. I really don't know what this retard had access to. It could have been anything off the dark web, let's be honest. But whatever it was got my account completely disabled. So that's not going to let me back in because the way they've done this is they've set me up to look like I've done this because it was within my device, my compromised device on my Facebook. So it looks like I did this and Facebook is just not going to let me back in. But it didn't just stop there. I don't know if it's because Facebook and Instagram are linked through Meta or they physically went into my Instagram and did something. But with Facebook, it's about three minutes before something happens. So I clearly couldn't even go into the account to see what had happened because uh, within three minutes, my account was disabled and my Instagram, anything you change on your profile, it's rude. It immediately gets detected in probably like five, 10 seconds. So I couldn't see what happened there. So I assumed nothing happened, but it was connected to my Facebook. So I lost three Instagram accounts, my personal photography account, um, my one of my personal edit pages. I do have an edit page on Instagram that I post to infrequently. And I had a meme page, like an old meme page. I lost all three of those under the same email and I lost a Facebook account. So not only did those things happen, but my computer was completely fucked. So I spent probably the next three days after this, nonstop stressing, changing passwords, deleting saved passwords off of my Chrome for all of the accounts that it could have been saved or synced across because that is immediately bad if someone's in your fucking computer and they have access to this shit, even though the computer switched off, if they were to come back in and they went to my Chrome and then went to passwords, knowing what my password was for the computer, they'd have no problem finding and accessing and seeing all my passwords. So I was just deleting them off there. I was changing every single password. Hell, even the ones for my main channel here, my second channel, my third channel, I was changing the passwords for them and they were already very, very difficult. You could not guess and they were random letters, hashes, numbers, you name it. But I wasn't taking chances. I was changing every single password I possibly have ever used because I didn't know at this point what they could do next. This is the thing that's so scary about hacking. You really don't know what's next. It's, I don't know what to refer to this as hacking or compromising. I mean, I don't really think someone was behind this. I think this was all just down to a Trojan or some sort of virus that was compromising my emails and automatedly doing things, but you don't know what's going to happen next. You can only guess, right? Because they're not going to all have specific characteristics. They're, there's all sorts of different types of viruses out there, so I didn't know what was going to happen. It was honestly just really scary. I thought this was it for everything and that I was going to lose absolutely everything on YouTube. I was going to lose this channel and whatnot, but in the end, I didn't. I just lost a Facebook account. I lost free Instagram so that's kind of shit and I lost everything on my computer because recently today um, after it got sent off like two days ago I got my computer back they basically had to wipe the entire computer and reinstall windows so I have actually gone and installed uh, a new version of Filmora so I guess what something good I've got out of this is I've got now a Filmora 10 and not Filmora 9 I've got Photoshop again I've got Audacity, so I'm recording this with Audacity, and I'm trying to set everything back up again. Uh, I, the only thing I really lost from my computer, let's be honest, because I did not keep anything personal on my computer. Most of my photos are on my phone and tablet. I actually lost basically just old thumbnails, stored current thumbnails that I had, which I can literally just download again off of uh, my videos. That's not a problem. And I lost all the videos on there that I already had, which I could just download them off my channel again if I wanted to, uh, which I'm probably not going to do. I don't see a point because it just takes up extra storage and I'm never going to need to re-upload them again. I only keep actually my videos on my computer for a little bit in case they get taken down for whatever reason. 
So really all I lost was just a bunch of old thumbnails um, and then current thumbnails. And I lost a bunch of old YouTube logos and banners and you name it. All the other features I had like memes, sound effects, music, background music, you name it. I lost all of that, so I'm going to have to go and try to find stuff again or just kind of remember what I used to use, like sound effects and music. I'll have to find them again off YouTube, but it is what it is. So really, it could have been worse. I'm really just glad at the end of all this that I'm okay. You know, I haven't been fucking tracked down by some dark web hitman and murdered in my sleep. Uh, it's literally just a hack at the end of the day, and it is scary. You know, you lose a lot of shit from this, but it could have been worse. If this was my phone or something, it would have been a lot worse but you know at the end of this i think i have become a different person you know i've really started to take internet security a lot more seriously i always went into this thinking this will never happen to me you know i can never get compromised emails and hacks Pfft, that won't happen to me i won't get a virus I don't, I don't access dodgy sites but no it really can happen to anyone and considering how scarily high the number of people are these days that are getting hacked it could be you. It literally, you could be the next person who gets hacked. So honestly, I just want to say, do not, for one thing, save any of your passwords to your browser. No matter which browser it is, don't save it because if you have a device that gets taken over by a hacker or a virus and you can't get back in, they have no problem going through your passwords on your browser. So even the securest way, honestly, is just to write on a piece of paper or a notepad in real life. But you know, no one likes to do that. We like to copy and paste our passwords to sites from our phone or whatever. So just make a note, put a note on your notepad app and just make it secure with a lock on it or some shit and probably sync it across multiple devices so that you, if one of the accounts gets locked, you've got it on the other device. You know what I mean? Just save all your things on otherwise from your Chrome, pretty much somewhere that's secure. Make sure your passwords are different to on each site. Don't make them the same. It really is not smart. I had the same password for probably 50 sites. Uh, a lot of those I wouldn't use anymore. They're probably one-off sites, but bottom line is I had a very simple, easy password to guess. It was used across multiple sites and I did not take this seriously whatsoever. And I think at the end of this, really get a good antivirus. It doesn't even have to cost anything. There's a lot of good free ones these days, but my fucking God, I was such an idiot for having a unprotected computer, having multiple sites using the same password, having them saved to my Chrome's password section. You should never save your passwords to Chrome. Don't even let them. And aside all that, I'm not even sponsored, but just install Brave. It's really useful. Actually, I've got this new browser called Brave. I don't even I don't even trust Google anymore. I, I know that Google in itself is not very secure. Like it just it tracks so much shit about you. There's so many ads you get through certain sites, and the Brave browser is actually pretty much just like Google. It has the same sort of layout, settings bookmarks, you name it. The only difference is this site, it does not track any of your information. It blocks any creepy ads or other weird shit that's trying to stalk you or other things it's trying to retain from you from sites. It actually even gives you kind of a little dialogue of all the blocked ads and the amount of time you've saved on the web as a result and the amount of data you've saved from just having these things blocked. So it's really useful and it even warns you of potentially dangerous sites. So what can you say? That, that is probably the best thing. So honestly, this has kind of reinvented me, this whole thing, even though at the end of all this, I did lose some YouTube shit. I lost uh, three accounts um, on Instagram and a Facebook account. I think at the end of all this, you know, it's taught me to really protect my sites, my passwords, and just to be more secure on the internet. And I think you guys should probably learn from this because honestly, I don't want you guys to take from this that this isn't important and go off and think, well, it's not gonna happen to me, so it doesn't matter. Because you don't want to experience this just to learn your lesson. Honestly, you don't. It's not fun being hacked. We all know that. Uh, so just basically protect your shit and use different passwords. That's honestly all I can say from all this. So yeah, I'm back. I'm gonna have a a lot of fun, obviously, having to reset up all my shit again and try and find stuff for my videos and whatnot. But I'm back and I'm all good. So, yeah, that was a lot of talking. Jeez. Okay. Uh, anyway, thank you everyone for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to smash like. It really does help a lot and it goes a long way. It lets me know uh, that you enjoyed the video. It lets YouTube know that this video is enjoyed by the audience and it pushes out to further people. So it does go a long way. And also... If you've watched this far, be sure to comment down below hacked in the comment section. <laughs> comment hacked, that's the only thing that comes to my mind to show that you've watched this far and you've not skipped any parts of this long ass video. 
But other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.